Today we have a fascinating topic to discuss that aligns perfectly with Neville Goddard's profound teachings. We'll be exploring five signs that the universe might be trying to get your attention. The first sign that the universe is trying to communicate with you is through intense desires. According to Neville Goddard, our desires are the spoken words of God. When you feel a burning desire within you, it's a signal from the universe that something significant is waiting for you. Now, let's not confuse this with ordinary wants. We're talking about those deep, heartfelt yearnings that seem to consume your thoughts. Look upon your desires as the spoken words of God and every word of the prophecy of that which you are capable of being. Neville encourages us not to question whether we are worthy of these desires. Instead, we should accept them as gifts from the universe. If you find yourself yearning for something, pay attention, as it might be the universe guiding you towards your destined path. The second sign involves synchronicities. Neville Goddard emphasizes the power of assumptions and thoughts in shaping our reality. When you start noticing meaningful coincidences or synchronicities in your life, it could be the universe trying to convey a message. The law of assumption says if we have different assumptions and different thoughts, we will experience something different. Pay attention to repetitive numbers, symbols, or chance encounters that seem too meaningful to be mere coincidences. These synchronicities could be the universe's way of confirming that you are on the right path or encouraging you to stay aligned with your desires. Inner guidance is like having a wise friend inside you, whispering the right advice when you need it. Neville Goddard used to talk a lot about this. He said that our inner selves, which he called the true God within us, are like our personal guides. They know us best and want what's good for us. I am if, therefore you seek me, let these go their way. Let's imagine it this way. You're standing at a crossroads, not sure which path to take. That feeling inside you, like a gentle tug or a strong feeling, guiding you in a certain direction, that's your inner guidance. Now, Neville talked about our inner selves being connected to something big called the universal consciousness. It's like we're all part of this vast network, and our inner selves are like direct hotlines to it. So, when you get that feeling inside, it's like the universe tapping you on the shoulder saying, Hey, pay attention to this. I am if, therefore you seek me, let these go their way. What Neville is saying here is that when you seek your inner self, you find this connection to something greater, the universal consciousness. And when you're connected to this bigger picture, you don't need to run around asking everyone else for advice. Your inner self becomes your compass. Now, think about this. When you're about to make a decision, what's the first thing you do? Often, we ask friends, family, or even Google for advice, right? But Neville encourages us to trust that inner feeling, that gut instinct. I am if, therefore you seek me, let these go their way. Connecting with your inner self means trusting your own judgment. It's like having a built-in GPS that knows your destination better than anyone else. This also means you start needing less validation from the outside world. You don't have to check in with everyone to make sure you're on the right track. Let's talk about trust. When your inner self nudges you in a certain direction, it's like having a little voice saying, I got you, go for it. It's a bit like riding a bike. When you trust your balance, you don't need someone holding on to the back of the seat. I am if, therefore you seek me, let these go their way. So, trusting your inner guidance is like trusting your own bike riding skills. You might wobble a bit, but you know you've got it. Neville's saying that when you seek that inner connection, trust it. It might feel a bit new or different, but that's okay. Trust the process. Now, here's the cool part. When you follow that inner guidance, it often leads you towards what you really want, your desires. It's like your inner self is saying, Hey, this way will make you happy. And isn't that what we all want? When you trust your inner guidance, it's like you're giving the universe a thumbs up. You're saying, I'm ready, guide me. And guess what? The universe often responds by aligning things to make your desires come true. The fourth sign involves your dreams and imagination. According to Neville Goddard, the process of manifestation begins in the realm of imagination and consciousness. 
If you find yourself having vivid dreams or recurring visions related to your desires, it's a sign that the universe is communicating with you through your subconscious mind. We seek information and validation for our desires in the 3D world. But it's not the way to manifest them. You don't need any confirmation or answers to your questions from the world outside of you. Your dreams and imagination act as a bridge between your inner self and the universe. Pay attention to the symbolism in your dreams, as they may contain valuable insights into the steps you need to take to manifest your desires. We're delving into the fifth and final sign that the universe might be trying to get your attention, the experience of inner peace. Now let's break this down in simple terms. Inner peace is like having a calm river flowing inside you. It's that feeling of being okay with yourself and the world, even when things around you are a bit chaotic. Neville Goddard, a wise teacher, used to talk a lot about this inner peace. He said it's a sign that you're in sync with your desires and the real you. All the negative thoughts, emotions and feelings fade away. And faith and persistence come naturally. So let's unpack this. Imagine you're feeling all jittery, worried, or upset about something. Your mind is like a storm, with negative thoughts swirling around. Now, inner peace is like turning that storm into a gentle breeze. It's like finding a quiet spot within yourself, away from the chaos. Why is inner peace a sign from the universe? Well, according to Neville Goddard, it's because when you're at peace inside, it means you're in line with your desires and your true self. It's like the universe saying, Hey, you're on the right track. If you find yourself at peace despite external challenges, it's a sign that you are in harmony with the universe. This inner peace serves as confirmation that you are on the right path and that the universe is supporting your journey. Let's picture it this way. You have this dream or goal, something you really, really want. Now life throws challenges at you. Maybe things don't go as planned, or you face tough situations. If, despite all this, you still feel this calm within you, that's your inner peace talking. It's like the universe saying, You're doing great, keep going. Neville Goddard highlighted the importance of faith and persistence in getting what you want. Faith is like trusting that things will work out, even when you can't see how. Persistence is about sticking with it, not giving up. And when you have both, that's when inner peace starts to blossom. All the negative thoughts, emotions and feelings fade away. And faith and persistence come naturally. Picture this, you plant a seed, and you water it every day. You don't see anything happening for a while. But you keep at it because you have faith that the seed will grow into something beautiful. That's persistence. And when that little sprout finally pops up, you feel a sense of peace and joy. The same goes for your desires. When you keep believing and persisting, inner peace becomes your companion. Now, let's talk about challenges. Life can be a bit tricky sometimes, right? You might face problems at work, have disagreements with friends, or things may not go as planned. It's like sailing through stormy seas. But imagine you're on a boat, and despite the rough waves, you feel this sense of calm and assurance that everything will be okay. That's inner peace. If you find yourself at peace despite external challenges, it's a sign that you are in harmony with the universe. This inner peace serves as confirmation that you are on the right path and that the universe is supporting your journey. So, when life throws its challenges at you, and you can still find that inner calm, it's a sign from the universe that you're on the right path. It's like the universe saying, Hey, we've got your back. Keep moving forward. Neville Goddard's teachings provide profound insights into the signs that the universe may be trying to get your attention. By paying heed to your intense desires, recognizing synchronicities, following inner guidance, acknowledging the power of dreams and imagination, and experiencing inner peace, you can align yourself with the universe's guidance. Remember, the universe is always communicating with us, and Neville's teachings offer a roadmap to decipher these messages. So, keep your senses attuned to these signs, trust the process, and watch as your desires unfold in divine timing.